and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are a business owner or you are a virtual assistant who doesn't know how to look or find emails and you don't have the resources or you don't have uh, any money to pay for an application that gives you email addresses, then this video is for you. I'd like to introduce you to a tool called name to email name to email is a lightweight Chrome extension that you can easily install to your existing Chrome account. Now let's try. All you need to do is look for name to email.com and click on install extension, or you just simply go to your Chrome extension store and look for name to email. Click on install extension. And you will still be redirected to the Chrome Web Store. Now let's add this to our Chrome account. Just add it as an extension. And let's wait for it to be available in our extensions. Now, if you are redirected to this page, which uh, says, thanks for installing name to email, let's verify and click on our extensions. The extensions are inside this puzzle-like icon on your Chrome account. So just click on extensions, and as you can see, it's not yet pinned. So we will just pin that. And after pinning it, let's check if they or if this extension is going to give us the patterns um, if we are going to look for the emails that we are looking for. Now let's go to options and make sure that our settings are correct. Now on here, it says name to email, find email by name for free, show all email patterns. We should enable this. So just toggle that and there you go. So what do you need aside from name to email? You need to have the first name, the last name, and the email domain of your lead, of your contact. You need to refresh your Gmail account for this to work because there are instances that this won't work the first time. So you just need to keep on refreshing and make sure again that the extension is working okay. So just go to extension options and make sure this is enabled. Now let's go to our Gmail. The secret for this one is you need to have a list of contacts ready with their first name, last name, and their email domain or their URL. For this instance or for this example, I have created um, a lead generation test uh, data. So we have here first name, last name, their title, their domain, and other things uh, depending on your lead generation strategy. Now we are going to look for David's email and we don't want to spend a peso for that. So let's just highlight their first name, last name. Make sure there's at least one space there. One space and let's get the domain because name to email is going to give us patterns and we only need to verify it by hovering our mouse. Now let's put an at sign and let's paste the domain and there you have it. It's now giving us options according to its pattern. And what is highlighted could be a good email. So as you notice, it has different uh, profile pictures as well than the rest of the suggestions. So as you notice, if you hover your mouse, there are no changes on the photo. And on here, the photo is like colored orange. Sometimes uh, they have uploaded or if they have uploaded their picture, then this will show the, their uh, face on here. So this is a good pattern. But aside from verifying it through the color of the picture, let's click Open Detailed View. Okay, I just minimized that one. And as you notice, when I open the Detailed View, this portion here, the Send Message portion is colored blue. Now, if we go back and check the rest or the other emails, let's see. Let's 
<clears throat> if we open the detailed view here, their send message is not enabled. So the first one definitely is our good email. So all you need to do is just copy that and paste it on your sheet. Now let's verify the other, the other one. So again, that's the first name, space, last name. One space only. Space again, at sign, then the email domain. I'm saying email domain because it's different sometimes to their actual uh, website. So on here, see this one is colored green, different color, open detail view. Yep, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. now let us copy that and paste it here. This doesn't guarantee that the emails are really accurate, but this can be a start of a good email. If you have an email verification tool like name never bounds, zero bounds, you can verify it using those tools and to make sure that these are valid emails. There you have it and good luck on your lead generation. Until next time, see you guys.